Hopefully I won't spend some time in jail today, but it should make an interesting vlog if I do. I'm sitting here with the prettiest girl in town, her name is Pietro. Throw some dancing, throw some dancing for us, man. It's another day in small town South Africa. It's Christmas time, but luckily over here, we are spared the incessant and irritating sound of Christmas carols in shopping malls. The only remix is the sound of everyday life scratching over familiar dust in broad sunny streets. Boney M is where it belongs, way back in the past. I tried to go to one of the pubs but they close until 1 o'clock, it's about 12 o'clock now and I just walked down the side street and there's this little liquor store, more for the locals I think and behind me is this big veranda and you'll see this quite often in small towns you have the liquor store and this place where people can sit outside apparently it gets quite rowdy here on Fridays and at the end of the month when people are paid but it's very quiet today nobody's got money today but uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna sit here and just have a have a drink <laughs> so I'm sitting here in alcoholics corner what a rain day and I'm speaking to the camera Okay, okay, okay. You're not really supposed to drink alcohol in the public, uh, so I've got it in a brown paper bag, my beer, and the guy inside says if the police catches you, you spend four hours in jail, even if you're sober, so you'll have to check out for the van, the police van. Hopefully I won't spend some time in jail today, but I should make an interesting vlog, if I do. Small town South Africa. The crowd has grown significantly since I arrived here, so there's a whole row of people now. Go away. I'm sitting here with the prettiest girl in town, her name is Pietro. Pietro, uh, how is it in town here, in, in South Africa? You like it here? Very quietly and very boring. Is it? Where would you want to go if you can't go? Everywhere but not far from home. Okay, so this is home? Mm. Did you grow up here? Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay, so you met Pietro, the prettiest girl in town. So that was a spot of day drinking of Pietro and uh, yeah, now we're moving on. So this is the pizza place, you can have a pizza here in Sutherland, it's a little shop. And a pizza oven, a wood burning pizza oven which is quite cool. And you can drink quartz here for cheap, so there's another bar here in Sutherland which makes me very happy. And this is the owner. Quilbus. Quilbus, tell me about your place. Uh, so the place's name is Omiele. 
Uh, the place is about 195 years old. It was the original old mill of the town. This was the place where Lord Milner from Mikey Fontaine received his bread from. Uh, across the street was Mr. Pullman. He was the owner of this building in the early 1800s. And this was his place of work and his house was there. So they would make the, the bread, uh, all the grain would come from Sutherland to to Mikey's Fontaine. Uh, so yeah, me and my wife, we purchased the place about five years back and we made it a nice sit-down restaurant, a la carte restaurant, with a nice bar and uh, nice food. Yes. And a little shop. Yeah, yeah, the shop, front shop is just something small, but uh, the main magic happens in the kitchen where my wife prepares all uh, different types of traditional Karua uh, meals, lamb shank, lamb chops, lamb curries, and very nice uh, pizzas also. I uh, can boast and say the best pizzas in the Karua. You guys can check that also on TripAdvisor and on the internet also. Thank you, man. Stuffing my face with pizza. Because I love pizza. And it's a good pizza, it's for me. Uh, so far the best pizza. But uh, uh, thank you very much, man. Oh, I love the enjoy pizza. Your meal. Walking down the dirt road in Sutherland, we're going for a drink, the boys. And it's a nice evening, we had lots of rain. And this is Andre, already now Andre. And this is my new friend Joffrey. Joffrey is from Malawi, so he said, we can have a drink tonight and I'm going to visit Joffrey in Malawi soon, right Joffrey? Yeah, yeah. Go visit you. Okay, cool, I'm going to show you the bar. It's quite a famous bar here, and it's called the Boerghat, which translated in English as Borel. I just met these two young guys and they are farming or they, they have farms here just outside of town. So introduce yourself to me. Uh, can I go Afrikaans? No, you have to speak English. I have to speak English. English. Hello. English. I'm uh, from Sutherland. I uh, live in a town. In a, with young even my English for school. <laughs> um, I live on a farm just outside of Sutherland called Kromkok. And yeah, we've been living here on the family farm ever since I can remember. And you? I'm actually not a farmer. I'm from George, just exactly. visiting him. Come school friend. Yeah, it's cool. Andre just got us some pizza from the Burghardt, so we're gonna eat like very nice cheesy pizza with everything on it.
It's Christmas 25th of December 2021 in Sutherland. The sun is setting and there's a little bit of a party going on here just off the main road. I just walked past there earlier and I saw this and I asked him can I come and I said yes and uh, there's a DJ that was setting up so a party in Sutherland and I'm gonna check it out let's go check it out we're going to the party let's go let's go let's go yeah getting close to the party I can hear the music pumping Unfortunately, there's a bit of a wind, so the sound's gonna be cuck. But uh, let's see, there's action happening here in Sutherland on 25 December. This is Marty. Get back, it, it's cost, it's gonna cost 20 bucks. I don't have cash. There's a bit of a pre party in the street, a boot party. Throw some dancing, throw some dancing for us, man. Some dancing, dancing for us. Ah, you've got the moves, I can see you've got the moves. Throw some moves. Throw some moves. Look at it. But now the boys are sober, so they can't dance. Throw some moves, you've got the moves, I can see you've got the moves. They've got the moves here in Sutherland, in the main road. It's a happy Christmas to you guys. Merry Christmas to you from the Sutherland boys, the Doerings. Okay, I got some entrance money, so I'm going back for round two. It's important to remember not to be an uptight mofo. Relax. Go with the flow. Meet everyone. Go to every party you can muster and just do it. Because then you will have interesting times. But if you like prejudice and you think you're better than other people and you don't, don't want to go with the flow, you're going to have a boring life, man. So let's have some excitement. This party is still going on here in the road. The Dorings, the Dorings. Good times in small towns South Africa. Just have an open mind. Go to any place where people are cool and have a jaw, like we say in Afrikaans. Here we go, round two. Sutherland party. So it's basically an open space with a DJ and speakers and uh, it's still early so it's still very very quiet but there's a couple of people there and it's a small town party man that's what it is so I just go with the flow. I'll check it out for a while and see what happens. Obviously I'm fuck old but I said as long as you don't feel old you're welcome so 
know. <laughs> I don't feel that old. Okay, to be honest, I was there now at night, but what it is, it's like a dark hall for a lot of young people and one disco light and a DJ. So I cannot capture this on video. But all you need to know about this is there, in small towns, stuff happens, you know. Uh, so on Christmas Day, in a small town, you can walk down the street and there's a DJ and his friends sitting up in a dark hallway with one disco light and a lot of the community pitches up and they go dance. So this shit happens in small towns of South Africa. And I think it's cool. You know? <laughs> <laughs>